Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at the Professional Business Women of California Conference. It's the 28th year. Jackie Spears started it a long time ago and now it's grown to 6,000 people. It's a pretty amazing conference. It crosses all industries and, and actually a lot more than California as well. Uh, and we're excited to actually have somebody to come talk to us about the conference itself. It's Deepti Srivastava. She's a product manager of Google Cloud mm -hmm. uh, from Google. Great to see you again. Last we saw you, I looked it up, was 2014. I know. At Top Coder Open. Indeed. And you were doing great work then. You were on a panel with a bunch of high school girls. I remember yep. they bust in a couple of busloads of high school girls yeah. and you and a couple other, you know, mainly young professional women yeah. talking to him about the life of an engineer. So yeah. you're still doing good things. I, I hope so. <laughs> Absolutely. I hope so. Yeah, it's a passion of mine and I'm really happy to, to bring it to something like PBWC where I'm on the board. Um, and we do a bunch of work across industries and across all levels. I mean, PBWC's mission is to um, you know, work for gender equity and pay equal pay for uh, women across all industries and, and all, in all professional settings. And right. That includes young professionals as well as you know, the pipeline of professionals coming in. That's terrific. So we could talk about your day job all day long, Google <laughs> Cloud's kick and tail. You guys had a big conference a couple weeks back. Here, in fact. Yeah. Here in <laughs> Moscow, New West, right? Yeah. But, but in terms of what you're doing here with P PBWC, uh -huh. um, Give us a little bit of the history. So we know it was started by Jackie Spear, I think you said 1988, that's just yeah. amazing. I know. Uh, obviously it's much more than California. Yeah. But kind of what is the, kind of the top level mission and how has the conference evolved over the last several years? Yeah, so Professional Business of California, as you said, was started by Congresswoman Jackie Spear and Judy Bloom, um, who's a co-founder. And you know, we still exist and you know, we've been doing this for so long and, and we really care about our mission, which is to you know, work for um, a, basically gender equity and equal pay, as I said, for um, profession, all professional settings for women. Um, and in this particular case, this conference, we are um, talking about inclusion. And we chose this theme because you know, we really think it's pertinent for, to what's going on right now in the world and in, and in our country. Um, and I, we, we, PBWC, uh, believe that um, you know, the, the things that unite us, the, the potentials and the aspirations that unite us are greater than you know, our differences and, and things like that. So we want to make a statement and really address the, the inclusion um, work that we do and the inclusion work that's required for all of us to really move forward as a country and as a, uh, as a people. Um, and you know, if you look at our lineup of speakers today, you know, we, we really do talk uh, walk the talk that we are, we're talking about. We have amazing speakers today with Rosario Dawson, Taraji right. P. Henson, and all right. the way to, to Secretary Clinton, who's, who's uh, you know, closing out our, our day right. today. We are so excited to have her. And um, there's nobody better to represent you know, breaking the glass ceiling than, than she that right. has. So, you know, very excited What to a be get. Here. I mean, I, I think I heard that it's her first public speaking engagement post the election. Yeah, I know, and it's very exciting because um, again, I think we're all about sort of coming together and rallying and sort of, you know, being a force for good. Uh, the conference is, that's our aim ultimately as an organization and, you know, having her here to give her speech, um, you know, first public appearance after, uh, you know, the election last year. Very exciting, right, I, I think, right. and we're very excited to hear from her, you know. I, I'm sure, I'm already inspired by the thought that right. she's going to be here, so. And, and really a big part of the theme was, you know, kind of the strategy work is done. Everybody knows it's good, now it's really time for the rubber to hit the road. It's about execution and about taking steps and, and, and you know, measuring and, and a lot of the real kind of concrete nuts and bolts mm -hmm. activities that need to happen to really move this thing down the road. Um, you mean like gender equity and... and, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's been a topic for a while and I think exactly, like we need to sort of have the rubber hit the road, we have to get together, we have to you know, have actionable plans, and that's what a bunch of our seminars today are talk about, sort of how to you know, address those things in your, we, we really want to empower women, and actually people of all uh, backgrounds and ages, and uh, you know, all sorts of people, to um, you know, take charge of their own lives, and right. especially you know, we are a, a professional women conference, so that's kind of where we focus our uh, messaging. Right. But really we want women to take control of their own lives, and we want to give them the tools, the you know, networking opportunities, the, uh, you know, aspiration, inspirations to like meet their aspirations in those uh, fields. And so um, we want them to sort of take charge and like move forward by themselves, you know, take away from here and like go back, to, you know, to your job, to your work, to your to your home and like sort of really bring your messaging forward, right? Take take inspiration from here and, and bring it back to your life. Right, I think Bev Creer in the keynote said, you know, fill, fill your well today. Yeah. Because as soon as you leave here, you know, it's kind of back to the grind and, and you're going to need that energy. So while you're here, 
surrounded by this energy and your peers, you know, take it all in and load up. Absolutely, um, and I also want to say that, you know, we, we started out as a conference, you know, an annual conference, and that's definitely our marquee um, thing that we do every year, but we actually have um, a lot more offerings that people can continue to engage over, over the year. Um, so we have, you know, um, webinars and seminars that you, people can attend, there's, um, there's uh, community events that happen here, right? So there's, and you can go to the PBWC website and see what all um, offerings we have, but it, we want people to engage and we want to be able to provide them with the means to engage throughout the year, not just here, but right. you know, sort of take this, everything you get today and then sort of take it along the rest of the year and, and right. you know, recharge yourself. It's kind of this whole 365 concept, which we talk about on theCUBE a lot too, because we go to so many shows, yeah. but you know, and there's a huge investment of time and energy and money on those two or three days, but you know, how do you extend that, you know, how do you extend it out beyond the show? How do you build the excitement leading into the show? So it's not just a one-time kind of a shot and then everything goes back Yeah, to exactly, normal. I think that's, that's exactly the point, that you know, this is not just a one day you go there, you get inspired and then what next, right? Um, right. There's something you can go back to with our various offerings and sort of you know, continue to your learning uh, journey if that's what you want, or networking journey if that's what you want to do. Right. Wherever you are in your career, we actually have a Young Women's Professional Summit that I have the honor of sort of um, uh, chairing. Um, that we have every year, and it's it's meant to help um, young professional women sort of navigate their way from, you know, being in college and, and high school and and those entering uh, professional lives. So as I said, you know, we we want to cater to all levels and all ages and right. all sorts of um, you know challenges that people face as they're going in through their professional careers. So that's a separate event? It is, it is an annual conference. And when is that, give a plug? Um, or do you have well, a date? <laughs> yeah, we don't have a date yet, but it's okay. going to be in the summer. In the summer, okay, great. Well I think, you know, when we met last, I thought that was such an important piece of that top co coder open because it wasn't, um, you know, the Sheryl Sandbergs or the Hillary Clintons or, you know, kind of these super mega, you know, kind of top of the pyramid. People. It was it was a bunch of young professionals. I think one of the gals was still in school, hadn't yeah. finished graduating, to make it so much real for those high schoolers. They didn't have to look so far, you know, yeah. to say, yeah, I can see myself. You know, I look. You know, I kind of look like that person. I, I, and I, I think that's very important, touch. Jeff. Exactly. Like, um, it's very important, and that's what we try to do here at PBWC as well, right? Um, we want to go from catering to the millennials and how we interact with them and all the way up to C-suite. We had a senior leadership summit yesterday leading right. up to the conference today where we have a bunch of C-suites and CDOs, chief diversity officers come together and talk about trending topics and how, you know, how to solve them. So we really are trying to move the needle forward on, on many fronts here. Right, right. But our, um, our aim is to sort of, all of that to culminate into moving women and um, you know, people of all you know, backgrounds forward. Right, right. right. And then there's this whole entrepreneurial bent, which you can't see behind the camera, but there's, you know, there's boosts all over for Intel and, and LinkedIn and Microsoft and the names that you would expect. Mm -hmm. uh, Google, of course, but there's also all the this, like, little boutiques, clothing stores and jewelry stores and, and crafty things. There's even, of course, you know, kind of women-focused snacks with mm -hmm. the Luna bars and I forget the other one. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's kind of a cool entrepreneurial spirit, you know, kind of on top of everything else. Absolutely, and you know, Jackie Spear, Congresswoman, started this conference to help um, women who were in the SMB, sort of SME, uh, uh, markets like basically right. uh, women who ran small businesses, and we want to you know continue to do that as well. But now, of course, the world has changed, and we have a bunch, but much more of a corporate presence, and right. we want to help there too. But yeah, we, we pay homage to that by having women who are um, you know women entrepreneurs running uh, women focused uh, businesses, and we have them here in the expo area. You know, if you can get a shot right. of that later, right. um, and it's it's the energy is palpable. You know, the excitement is there, and it's so great to be here and like harness that right. and take right. it back. I mean, the first time. I was here many years ago uh, when I was not even on the board. I was just like, oh my gosh, there's so many women here who are like me or, you know, who are, there are people I could look up to, you know, all the way up to the C-suite as, as right. who are making their presence felt here and also all the people around me and, and like-minded like me. So it's, it's a really, it's a really inspiring event and I'm, you know, I've been here for many years but I'm still inspired by right. it. Right, great. So, yeah, I'm so excited that, that we do this and continue to do this. So. A little harder question. So, you know, you've been doing this for a while. What what surprises you kind of on the negative? That that still, you know, you still kind of fighting that battle that you wouldn't have expected to, to still be doing. And then conversely, what has kind of, kind of surprised you on the positive, in terms of what's moved maybe further than you might have thought, or faster than you might have thought? Yeah, that's a good question. I think it's you already nailed it, right? Like the fact that we are still here talking about this is is interesting to me. And as I got more involved in these kinds of um, uh, 
in this kind of work, I realized that you know people have been doing this for a long time. Congresswoman herself has been doing this for so long, right, right, and a, and a fearless advocate for women's rights and equal pay and um, you know diversity and inclusion. And um, the fact that we're still here does it, it is indicative of the fact that you know we need to have a groundswell movement um, in order to change policy, right? We can talk about it all we want, but unless right. there's actionable things you can take away and you know really have that grassroots uh, level work to push the envelope forward, it's not going to happen. And that's, I think the positive is, as I've seen this conference over the years, it's grown and it's gotten a lot, you know, a lot more young people involved. And, you know, it's not just the senior leadership that is trying to um, pull people forward. It's the, the uh, people starting out early in their careers or mid-level in their careers that are looking at taking charge of their own destiny and sort of pushing, you know, their their uh, agenda forward in this sense, right? Like they, they want, they're asking for, you know, equal pay. They're really engaged and aware. Right. And you know, conferences like BBWC actually help with that, sort of getting those minds together and, and making things move forward. You know, so I think from a from a positive side, I, I'm really excited to see so many more people engaged in this fight, right? And the more people we have, the more, you know, we can actually make real progress and real inroads. Right, and as you, and as you look back, for someone who's never been here, and, and, and they, they see this interview and they say, you know, this looks awesome, I'm going to sign up. Yeah. What do you think the biggest surprise when they come for the first timer? Um, I'll tell you what I was surprised by is seeing so many women together uh, across industries, across ages, across, you know, backgrounds, everybody together really wanting to move forward, right? Like they're right. really wanting to, to engage, to connect with each other and to like actually like make a difference. Like people are here to make a difference, right? right? right. And that's, to say that 6,000 people come together and really all of them have that same sort of mentality of like, yes, I'm empowered to make a difference is, is electrifying. Deepi, I love, your, I love the energy. I love <laughs> the you. energy, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's all these people. It, it is. Trust it's, me, it's, I'm sleep deprived with my you know, <laughs> very young son. So yeah, this is all the energy. That no, it's good. And, 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 it, and there, is, there is something special here um, mm -hmm. and, and you can feel it because we, we go to a lot of shows, you go to a lot of shows and, and again, it's not an exclusive tech show, which is kind of nice because we cross a lot of industries. But there's definitely, you know, there's an energy, there's a vibe that comes from the little entrepreneurial outlets. It just comes from the, the that room was packed. The keynote room was, I know. was not fire marshal friendly. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the fire marshal is not close by in the yes, we had some, conference um, tomorrow. Yes, we had some uh, discussion on that too. But but to your point, right, Like this is one of the conferences that I've seen where we really, perhaps the only conference I've seen, where we really cut across all industries, right? Because there's tech focus, there's business focus, there's all sorts of focused uh, conferences, you know, trying to do either, um, you know, their professional work on um, technology or, or what whatnot, or they're trying to solve the problem in their on the gender and diversity and inclusion piece in their own silos. And we try to cut across so that we can actually have uh, a coming together of all of these various industries and their leaders, right. thought leaders, um, sharing ideas and sharing best practices so that we can actually all move forward together. I think that's, again, our, our senior leadership summit, which is which happened last night, um, right. and the VIP reception, which happened last night, um, is all about you know getting those thought leaders together and getting them to share their best practices and ideas so that, again, they can take it back to their companies and you know really move uh, move forward right. with DNI initiatives. It's action, right? It's all about the yeah, action. Absolutely. All right, Deepu, I promise next time that we talk, uh, we'll talk about Google oh, Cloud. Because sure. that's hopping. But it's great <laughs> to see you and uh, and congratulations on all your work with the board and with your thank event you. in the summer. People should go to the website, keep an eye out, it'll be coming out. So thank yeah. you. Uh, thank you so much, it's great to see you too, Jeff. Absolutely, all right, she's deep i I'm Jeff, you're watching theCUBE. We're at the Professional Business Women of California Conference, the 28th year, pretty amazing, 6,000 people here at Moscone West. Thanks for watching.